Hey there, don't be shy. Come on in and join me by the fire. This is my nephew, Teddy. Today, Teddy, you can sit and listen if you want, but I'm going to read some of my students a book called Norman the Doorman, written by Don Freeman. Here's Norman. In front of a small, well-hidden hole, around in back of the majestic Museum of Art, there once stood a mouse named Norman. Norman lived in a big city. Norman was a doorman and he greeted all the art-loving creatures who came to see the treasures which were kept in the basement of the museum. Come right in, Norman would say to his cousins, the Petrinis. We're quite safe. I've sprung all the traps. So that means that Norman set off or used all of the mouse traps so that no one in his family would get trapped. He sprung all of the traps. Norman would explain every painting in detail and handle each masterpiece with as much care and respect as if he had painted it himself. He would also take great pride in pointing out the artistic features of certain pieces of Greek sculpture which rested in the dark corners of the storage room. Norman loved art, and he loved living in a museum. I miss going to museums. Norman's only worry was keeping out of sight of the sharp-eyed upstairs guard who often came to the basement to set traps for mice. His bright flashlight frightened the visitors and they dashed out the secret hole into the night like streaks of pink and white lightning. There's the sharp-eyed guard. That means he had very good eyesight. He always managed to escape and hide inside an old armored knight's helmet. Up there, he felt perfectly safe. Actually, the helmet was Norman's home, which he had made into a very comfortable and workable studio. Just see what a splendid skylight the visor made. What's a skylight? Skylight is kind of like a window up high that would let the sunlight in. Like most everybody, Norman had a hobby. Each night after work, he tried to create something pleasing or beautiful, perhaps a painting of Swiss cheese and crackers, mm. or a statue. One bitter cold day, kind of like today, Norman decided to stay in his studio and make something out of wire. For some time, he had been collecting mouse traps and odd scraps of picture hanging wire with the intention of putting them to artistic use. So he wanted to use lots of things that he found to make something new. The mouse traps weren't any good anymore since Norman had cleverly taken out the pieces of cheese and then swapped the traps shut without having harmed even so much as a whisker on his nose. So Norman kind of broke all the traps in the museum so that no mice could get hurt. All through the day and far into the night, Norman twisted and bent wires in many strange and mysterious shapes until at last he created something. He was really proud of it. It was the world's first mouse trapeze. What's your trapeze? A trapeze is like something you can swing from and play from. So a mouse could hang on there and swing. Whee! Sometimes 
people use that in the circus. Trapeze. Oh, yeah. That night when he finally went to sleep, he was a tired but very happy mouse. Feels good to accomplish a big project. Early next morning, when Norman went outside to shovel away the snow, he noticed a man reading a sign. Hmm. He too read the sign. It said, Sculpture Contest. Open to all artists, great and small. Prizes, prizes. Works in stone, iron, bronze, wood, or wire. Last day today. A sculpture. Do you guys know what a sculpture is? Yeah, it's what? like a um, statue that you make. Yeah, it could be a statue. It could be an object. It could be something to look at and you don't really know what it is. Something beautiful. But back he flew because he knew he wanted to make a sculpture. I know what he's going to bring. Why can't I show my wire statue, he said, as he slid through the visor lid opening. But what would he call it? All pieces must have titles, he well knew. What do you guys think he should call his sculpture? Uh, the what's, what is the mouse swinging on? The trapeze? Yeah, it could be called a mouse trapeze. Hmm. See what happens. A mouse trapeze. A mouse trapeze. A mouse trapeze. Suddenly he had an inspiration. A really good idea. Mouse trapeze. Stripping off the word trap from the label and then ripping off the letters E E S E from the word cheese. He pasted them together. He made a new word, and the word was trapeze. Trapeze. Now he had a good title for his wire work. Then, as this was the last day for the artist to bring their sculpture pieces in, Norman put a cover on his statue, and away he scooted. Up the front stairway he climbed one snowy step at a time. He was going into a big museum. Once inside the huge museum, he eagerly followed the other sculptors, sculptors, people who make sculptures. He followed them and was extremely careful. He didn't want to get caught. Are mouse al allowed inside museums? No. No. But, but a lot of mouses live under the museum. True, just like Norman. Yeah, a bunch. Like After usually. carefully removing the cover, he left it on the floor with the rest of the other contestants' work. Just before leaving, he took one last look. Would the judges notice his trapeze after all? It wasn't very large. Where? It's down there. Out he went into the snowy afternoon, knowing he had done his best work. Back once more in his helmet studio, Norman went about sewing new buttons onto his coat. You see, he had forgotten that he had the job of a doorman to do. What does that mean? Oh, a doorman is somebody who watches the front door and says hello to people and makes sure that he knows everyone who comes in, like a guard. Well, does he have that job? He does, at the museum. Meanwhile, upstairs in the sculpture gallery, the judges were busy judging. Quietly and seriously, they examined hmm, each piece. Gradually, that means slowly, they found themselves huddled around a certain statue. Hmm, what's this? Huh? what that is. It's very small. It looks very interesting. Oh, I love how it's shiny. It has a sign here. It seems very small. I wonder who made it. I've never seen art like this. It's the contraption. Is it the contrap? Now this is an amazing creation, exclaimed one of the judges. There's no name, said another, and it isn't very big. It's very, very tiny. 
Yes, but remember the contest is open to great and small. One by one, each guard asked if they knew who had brought in this tiny sculpture. The museum director couldn't understand why none of them had caught sight of the artist. Could somebody please tell me who brought this tiny sculpture in? Was it you? No. Was it you? Find the artist. But when the sharp-eyed guard took a closer look, he gasped. Aha! So this is where all my mouse traps have been going. I think I know where to start searching for the tricky trap snatcher. Without waiting another minute, the guard snapped on his flashlight and hurried to the basement where Norman lives. What's this? One of my traps stuck in a knight's helmet? He lifted up the visor to investigate. There he saw tiny pieces of wire and a little bed, which could only belong to a now. mouse. <laughs> Whoever he is, he must be mighty fond of my cheese. He saw some little tracks that went to a hole in the wall. During all this time, Norman had been tending to his duty as a doorman. He was getting cold and hungry. There's Norman. There's his door. But to his surprise, who should be coming around the corner but the sharp-eyed guard? Oh, -ho, so there you are, said the guard as Norman fled inside. Do you guys know what fled means? Fled zoom. Zoom. He ran really fast. Usually you, when you flee, you are trying to get away from something. So he fled. He got away. <gasps> but when the guard held a piece of cheese just above the hole, Norman sniffed it. <gasps> oh, he's going to trap it. And just as he was about to reach up and snatch the cheese, a hand came down. And grabbed Norman by the tail. He's gonna put it in the mouse trap. Say, are you the rascal who's been taking my mouse traps every day and using them for artistic purposes? Asked the guard. It's just a hobby, sobbed Norman. It's just, 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 just my hobby. What's a hobby? It's something you do. You do for money or fun? Fun. It's like fun. Oh. It's like just something for fun that you love to do. Right then and there, the guard tossed Norman up on his shoulders, but he still kept a tight hold on his tail. Norman was sure he was being taken to jail. Oh, no. No, it's the mouse trap. No, mm. no, he's not. No, he's not. Let's see. I know he's not. You can imagine his surprise when instead they entered the museum and heard people clapping, Hooray for the trapeze! Hooray for the trapeze! <laughs> well, I'll be bamboozled, cried the guard. I do believe you've won a prize, and they're waiting for you to step forward and receive the award. The guard rushed up to the judges and said, is the winner. I found him freezing outdoors in the snow. Who is it? Oh, indeed, said the head judge. Yes, you could have created the daring young mouse on the flying trapeze. What is your name, my good fellow, and what would you like for your prize? Move so everyone can see the pictures, guys. Cheese! I know he's going to pick cheese. If you please, sir, my name is Norman. I'm the doorman downstairs, and I've always dreamed of seeing the upstairs part of the museum. I would like best. He just wants to see more art. The simple request was granted immediately, and the guard led Norman out into the hall, where together they began the grand tour. Oh, he didn't pick cheese. I thought he was going to pick cheese. Ah! Later that night, Norman, Norman returned to his door. 
who found his mice friends. Of course, Norman invited them into his studio, where he sh shared an amazing slice of cheddar cheese with them. Oh, I what a wonderful the way to the end cat. the day. I won. I Good night. I knew, I thought it was going to pick cheese. Thanks for tuning in to episode five, Teddy and Sybil. Say hello. Say hello, come in. Say bye, everyone. Oh, yes. Bye. Bye.